has recently introduced the auxiliary belt tensioner and water pump friction wheel drive into the aftermarket for independent garages working on the Prince, BMW, PSA 1.4 and 1.6 litre petrol engines, commonly seen in a wide range of BMWs, Minis, Peugeots and Citroëns. With concerns that many technicians may still be unaware of the system, Daco's Glenn Goldstone shared some of the common system failings. Failures for this type of system can be attributed to water pump failure, wear of the water pump pulley or even in some cases aging of the electric activated friction wheel. If they don't check all of the parts within the system they could replace parts that they believe to be worn without recognising other parts such as the damper and the clutch pulley. They all need to be checked within the system. It's also a good idea to check the auxiliary belt for wear. Daco produced both the single arm torsion bar tensioner, which replaces the traditional spiral spring tensioner on the auxiliary drive system, and the motorised switchable friction pulley that actuates the water pump. When running below normal operating temperatures, the water pump is disengaged and only operates when the friction wheel is activated under warm engine conditions. The friction wheel is in constant contact with the crankshaft pulley, but with the use of an electric motor, the pulley's radial movement is altered and the rotating friction wheel comes into contact with the surface of the water pump pulley, bringing it into operation. You can get problems with the tensioners, can be, can be seized or damaged or loss of pressure. The alternator clutch pulley can be seized, uh, so you get no back, back, backlash on it. The uh, friction wheel can be damaged uh, with flat spots or uh, misaligned due to water pump damage uh, and the uh, electronic tensioner the pulleys can seize up on them and, and get play and uh, cause damage to the friction wheel. We know of some instances where uh, minis for instance have been back to the garage um, the customer or the car owner has been moaning about the noise of the engine and the mechanic thought for a while that it was actually noise from the chain so they brought the vehicle in and they've changed the chain but in actual fact it wasn't the chain that was making the noise it was the damaged water pump pulley. If you suspect the auxiliary drive system, then the first thing you'd do would be to uh, detension the belt, uh, pull the uh, release on the uh, friction clutch pulley and then remove the belt, um, unbolt the friction clutch pulley so then you can run the engine up the friction clutch pulley off to see whether the, in whether the noise is on the engine uh, or on the auxiliary drive system. A lot of the problem is, well, is on the alternator clutch pulley. Uh, they seize up there are one way clutch on it. Some garages just change the alternator but you can actually buy a tool that you can actually change the pulley in situ uh, so you can unscrew it without taking the alternator off. That's quite an easy job. Uh, the tensioner just has two Torx bolts holding it on. The friction clutch pulley just has three bolts and makes sure you disconnect the uh, electric cu coupling connector on the top of it so you don't damage the wiring when you're removing it. The water pump has the three bolts that hold the pulley on and beh behind that there's six 10 mil bolts that hold that onto the housing, but make sure the surface is cleaned on the water pump when you put them back together, because uh, if you don't, it'll be misalignment and damage as well. For further information, visit daco.com or email info.uk at daco.com.